Okay, I've had a couple of people ask me how to take these motors apart. Now, this is how I do it. There's probably different ways to do it, but this is how I do it. So, first of all, on the bottom here, take that C-clip out. And once you pop that out, you'll find uh, a few washers in there. So, be careful. So, we'll pull this apart here. This is what it's going to look like. Once you take that C-clip off, there's a couple washers in the bottom, okay? And then, once that's off, you can just slide this whole part of the motor out. Just be careful you don't uh, lose the clips. There's nothing really to damage if you pull off. Well, it's out. It's not a bad idea to give uh, the bearings a little drop of... I usually just use like a 3-in-1 oil, but um, maybe there's better oil. I don't know. So once it's apart... Um, since you're going to cut the shaft off anyways, uh, so I don't mind clamping a pair of a good vice grips onto the end of it, and then take that grub screw right out, put a drop of oil in there, and maybe a little on the shaft because it's going to be stiff. So then grab this bell like this and the pliers on the other end and turn it, you know, back and forth and work it. It seems to come off actually better if you work it down away from the threads. Uh, it might every motor may be a little bit different but anyways so once you get to that point and you'll see that notch that I'm talking about see how long it is well the grub screw only fills about half of that I don't know if this will focus in closer not there um, you can't really see the notch on the video but the notch at the very top you can see the imprint of the grub screw so what I'm going to do is take a Dremel and just deepen that notch just the very front part of it uh, just slightly, just enough so that grub screw will catch in that notch and it won't slide down farther and put pressure on the bearings. So I don't know if we can see the notch here. We might be able to, but see, I take my Dremel and I've just dug in a little bit on the very front part of that groove. So now when the grub screw goes down into that notch, it won't slide back. You don't want to notch that too much because you're taking some strength away from the shaft. So once you get to that point, slide the bell, jiggle the bell back up into its an original spot. Um, I'd leave the grub screw out until you get it all uh, back together again. Make sure your uh, bell is fitting right, it's not binding or anything. And then take some uh, Loctite, the, usually the blue Loctite, the stuff that you can remove and line it all up, put some Loctite on your thread, tighten it back together. Uh, Alright, so this thing's all done now. This is the motor, the newest one. Uh, this is the older one. Uh, the shaft is longer on there because I was running these uh, GD GWS props and they have a lot bigger hub. And these are the props from Hobby King. I just got some and they're a lot shorter so I'm gonna make sure I like these uh, Hobby King props better than the GWS props before I cut the shaft down and if I like them I'm gonna cut that again in about half probably I might just leave it lo just long enough that uh, I can get a, a nut on on here I don't know I haven't decided but anyways there's uh, uh, the backs being glued the bearings have been oiled the clips back in uh, the shaft is being cut down to the same size as the rest of them. Again, it's a little long. It turns nice and free. I mean, see, in the original design, uh, why it's kind of like this is it's there was supposed to be a nut at the bottom here that stops at the thread. Nut, washer, prop, washer, nut. So it never would put pressure on the on the bell itself. Um, and changing it like to this where the prop bottom is right on the bell it actually pushes the bell in so if you're gonna if you're gonna do it this way you, you pretty much have to do this modification uh, if you don't want to do this you could use a like a collet probably over top of this cut it down or again use the nut uh, as the bottom bottom out which would be right here anyways uh, if you guys like this information uh, give me a comment like it uh, if you think it's useful 
and that's it for now.